Oh, this car is going to be up and running very, very soon. This is going to get the GTR once I'm done. What is up YouTube, it's your boy Speedy46 coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we are getting a big, 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 big update on the IPL and I'm super excited. So let's get right into the video. You guys know this is my real baby. Yes, I have the GTR, yes, I have the Q60, but the IPL is my real favorite car and I love this thing so much because I built it from the ground up. Um, and as you guys know, this is a single turbo G37 IPL. I did spin the bearing in the motor last year around April. So this car has been down ever since then because I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Um, but we actually got a built motor being built at Unique Motorsports. And today, 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 we have a major, major update on that. Um, so we'll be taking care of that today. And I miss this car so much. I can't wait to do a comparison with this and the GTR. All right, you guys. So we are actually in the truck right now. We have the spare motor right there. Uh, we have it strapped down and everything in the bed of the truck. So, and we're actually heading to Georgie uh, Unique Motorsports right now to drop off this one because I have to do a core exchange. And Georgie needs a few parts out of the spare motor I have to complete the built motor that we're doing. So, super excited. So, you should be able to get this done. And I say about a week, and we should be able to pick up the new motor, the new built motor, in about a week. And I'm so happy. Like, I miss the IPL so much. There is nothing like a single turbo VQ six speed manual. Like, it's something about banging gears and a turbo VQ is just something. It's definitely unmatched. And, but don't get me wrong, the GTR definitely comes close. I'm not gonna lie to you, the GTR definitely comes close, but like, it's just something about it. And also, make sure you guys stay tuned because I might be selling the Q60, uh, and that one might be for sale. So, make sure you guys stay tuned. If you guys are interested in it, let me know. I think I might keep the build as is, except for the Nismos. I'm gonna take the Nismos off. So, if you're interested in the Q60, let me know. I'm gonna be selling it soon. Yes, sir. We just pulled up to Unique right now. All right, so motor is good. Pull this mofo in. So I about the GTR today. <laughs> clean. So GTR is so clean. Uh, I'm so jealous because he has the, the newer rear end too. It looks so much better. It's just crazy. So this front end looks so much better than mine. Oh my goodness. You guys, this front end is so clean. I legit been trying to find a bumper and some headlights to upgrade mine because the DBA front end is not bad, but the EBA front end with the uh, 15 up head style is insane. Oh, so clean. So clean. So I might just, I'm gonna sell the Q60 and just keep the GTR with the IPL, but damn, this shit's so nice. See? It still hits the same. Every time I see a new GTR, it's still like, damn, that's a GTR. Like, even though I have one now, it's still like, still in disbelief. <laughs> Pawn right here, but it shows the motor. Uh, the one thing, we, we don't have, we run out the cam bracket. Oh, okay. And then uh, what's going to happen is uh, we'll check it out. This is the gap sauce right here. This is going to gap the, uh, the GTR once I'm done. Uh, we were thinking about throwing cams in there, but I kind of told him a little late, so I'm not going to do that. So, but oh, bro, I can't wait. I cannot wait, you guys. All right, let me go get the truck so we can put the get the core out in here. This is the spare motor that I had in my dealership for like six months. Adam actually, shout out to him. He actually gave me this a long time ago because he had to clear out his house. He actually hooked this up and gave this free. The only thing wrong with this motor is a spun bearing. So everything on top and everything is good. So, but yeah. So let me get my, <laughs> get my ass down here. Ugh. <laughs> I know. Ooh. I mean, it worked earlier. It should work. There it is. <laughs> All right, right there, there, there. Start backing out. All right, start dropping. Start dropping. Damn, fool. <laughs> stop. Stop and drop it. I'm so excited right now. Yes, sir. So hopefully it takes. This shouldn't take too long. 
diamond pistons. Uh, we got king bearings in there. Uh, the rods I did go with. I believe I got eagle rods. Uh, all right, no, no, I'm sorry. I got DC rods. Sorry. And then uh, uh, L19 head studs. I didn't do anything too crazy with the uh, top of the motor and stuff like that. I should have cammed it, but it is what it is. If I want to cam it later on, we have like some stepping stones to do. So, but yeah. Got another single server VQ, bro. Yes. So, clean. so the homie Benji, he actually went boost. So this was like the fastest NA370Z. Like, bro, this shit was so fast, bro. Like legit. And now you went boost. <laughs> so it's crazy. And his titanium intakes, other charge pipes, I would say. Uh, and the color is super clean. And this is actually a boosted performance kit um, from Arizona. So if you guys know Aziel, he actually our boosted projects. I'm sorry. Boosted Projects um, on Facebook. He's from Arizona. He actually made this kit. So, crazy, bro. My boy Vinji about to be hella fast. <laughs> he gonna try to gap me. And then Jesse said he just got a fresh Tomei too. This shit about to sound like a ray gun, for sure. <laughs> Sure. A few moments later. So we are now back to the dealership. Um, I might actually be about to turn this car on right now because um, I haven't turned it on yet after putting the motor back in. Uh, so hopefully it should start up. I think I did everything right, so we should be good. Um, but this is going to be the first turn on uh, with the GTR putting the motor back in. So let's do it. All right, guys. Fingers crossed that it turns on. Ah, oh, nervous. <laughs> nervous. So this part right here of the turbo, like it would have been, the oil would have been started leaking down already right here, which is not, like before you would leave the car and you would literally see it start getting wet. So uh, it's good. So this is why we have to drop the motor and everything because we placed the turbo line that goes to the top of the turbo, the feed line. So, but all right, cool. I'm just gonna tighten everything up, make sure everything is good to go and uh, we should be good to go. Put it back together. Guys, right, so the first drive actually wasn't that bad. Everything is good to go. It's not leaking oil no more. Usually, I used to be able to smell the oil um, right here when the turbo was leaking. Uh, the turbo line was cracked, but no longer I, can, I can't smell no more. So I'm gonna fill up gas really quick and then uh, we're gonna actually take a longer drive to make sure everything is good. But first drive is good, man. It's always nerve wracking. <laughs> After you do like a lot, a lot of work, on a car like that first drive you're like just so scared like damn is something about to happen is something about to mess up but we're good so far so and bro i have not washed this car yet since i've had the car i've had the car for about three weeks i have not washed it since getting it so we are for sure going to be washing it restore the headlights and uh just do a lot of things to it just clean it up because this is my first time i have not washed this car yet at all so oh man but yeah first drive after pulling the motor good to go this guy over there raving at me, bro. <laughs> bro, I swear, the GTR gets so much, like, attention. Like, people start doing unnecessary stuff. Like, bro, relax. <laughs> Checking over everything, just making sure we're not leaking after the first drive, and we're good. So, all right. Guys, freaking first gear, like a 20 roll, this thing is insane. I don't want to launch my car from a dig, but the 20, I'll show you guys. This crap is insane. Ready? Oh my goodness, bro. The all-wheel drive is insane. <laughs> it's insane. I'm in love. In love. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys, late night drives. I swear cars sound so much better at night. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, I can't get tired of that sound. And don't mind the steering wheel, I do have to get an alignment. Uh, because since whenever you like remove the steering rack and the you know drive shaft, I'm sorry, the steering rack and the rack and pinion, you usually have to get an alignment after. It's like extremely hard to basically get it perfect. So, but other than that though, uh, car drive's great. Oh, 
it sounds so good. With the ball valves, bro. The Boosted VQ, it sounds similar, but it's not the same. But it has like its own sound to it, bro. But a GTR sounds insane too, though, bro. Like, oh, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love. And the downshift from second to first, so crazy. <laughs> Turning the jet off. Man, bro. Oh, they love. That IPO. All right, guys. Hey, bro. Oh, this car is gonna be up and running very, very soon. I can't wait. It is so dirty. Like, ah, uh, look at that, bro. So clean once it comes back. Once you get the motor, we are literally so close to getting it done. Um, the motor being done, so can't wait to get this one back and running. Uh, we've got the GTR squared away now, so we got the turbo line fixed. So this is good. Um, still like little things like the rotors, and then I want to rebuild the axles, but that's fine. But now it's time to really get the IPL going because this is the, what started the channel. Without the IPL, I would not have the GTR. You know what I mean? Because a lot of you guys have found me because of the IPL, and it's my baby. I love this car. So, but I can't wait. Crazy how similar the VQ is to the BR38. Like, oh man, so crazy. This is insane. Oh, so far. So, so far, I can't wait to get this thing going. But all right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys like it, please leave a thumbs up on the video and make sure you subscribe to your boy, man. Oh, this is so crazy. This is a dream come true. The GTR and the IPL. But uh, man, yeah, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the channel. Definitely got more content coming soon. I can't wait to take these both to a drag strip together and race them. <laughs> that's gonna be super dope. But uh, that's gonna do it for this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys stay tuned because we should be throwing the motor once we get it back. Um, that's gonna be the next update. So, yep, catch you guys in the next one. Peace. He on the beat.